All right, so I'm going to go through the first three questions. You can watch this to see if your answers are correct. Um, all right, so um, here, the first question asks you to calculate the percent composition of calcium chloride. And you'll notice that this is one of those questions where you don't have any numbers, which means you find your numbers on the periodic table. Okay, so the first thing we do is to calculate the molar mass of calcium chloride. So the mass of calcium and the mass of chloride is required to figure out the mass of calcium chloride. Okay, so mass of calcium is 40.08 grams per mole. Each chlorine on the periodic table is 35.45, but we need two chlorines. So 35.45 times 2 is 70.90 grams per mole. Okay, so the total mass of this compound is 110.98 grams per mole. Now they're asking you what percentage of that 110.98 is calcium. So percent calcium is equal to the mass of calcium that you got from the periodic table over 110.98, which is the total mass of the compound, times 100%, and that will be 36.11%, okay? Now, in order to find the percent of chlorine, what we have to do is subtract the mass of, um, Oh, I don't need a percentage there. Subtract the mass of, um, or subtract the percentage of calcium from 100. That'll give you um, the rest of it, and that'll be 63.89% um, chlorine. Okay, so that is percent composition. We know uh, numbers are given, you get them from the periodic table. Now let's look at the second question. A compound contains 174.86 grams of iron and 75.14 grams of oxygen. You have to find the percent composition of this compound. So remember, iron is a transition metal. We don't know whether it's iron 2 or 3. So you can just write the total mass of compound, like in words. You can say that this is rust because iron and oxygen is rust. Um, or you can just say it's some combination of iron and oxygen. So you can write it like this. So the total mass is equal to 174.86 grams plus 75.14 grams. That is equal to 250 grams. And we're gonna say some number, X number of iron and Y number of oxygen is in this compound, okay? Just, it could be any number, based on whether our iron is two or iron is three, iron two or iron three. Okay, so let's find the percent of iron then. This doesn't change anything about the actual work here, okay? So we just put the mass of iron, 174.86 grams over 250 grams times 100. That gives you uh, 174.86 over 250 times 100 gives you 69. 0.94% iron, okay? Then, how do you find the percent of oxygen? You just subtract 69.94% from 100. So 100 minus 69.94 gives us 30.06% oxygen, all right? Then, the next question has given you the total mass over here and just the mass of one of the components of it, okay? So the total mass of the compound is 71 grams. That's the total mass of the compound. And 30.98 grams is the mass of phosphorus. What they haven't given us is the mass of oxygen in this, okay? So in order to find the percentage of oxygen, first you have to find the percentage of phosphorus. So 71.0 grams is this compound, phosphorus oxide, and phosphorus oxide is some number of phosphorus and some number of oxygen connected to each other, okay? So the percent of phosphorus is therefore 30.98 grams of phosphorus over 71.0 grams of whatever PXO5, 
whatever phosphorus oxygen compound there is times 100 okay so 30.98 divided by 71 equals 43.63 percent phosphorus oh by the way i forgot to write grams of iron and grams of the main compound of this okay now um we need percent of oxygen so percent of oxygen is just going to be 100 minus 43.63 which is going to be 100 minus 43.63 Sorry guys, 43.63 is 56.37%, alright, um, that's it.